This construction site is Basin Electric's first ever in Montana, Culbertson Generation Station, a gas-fired peaking plant. Because it's a peaking unit, it's not running all the time. It runs only when more electricity is needed in the system. It can go from zero to about 90 megawatts in 10 minutes. We're just running a natural gas um, turbine that spins a generator and produces electricity. Craig Meilenberg is the construction manager here. He also managed construction at the Groton Generation Station, located in South Dakota. This has been a little bit better as far as the ground conditions were so much better. We didn't have the water to, to fight with here. It's come along a lot faster than Groton did. Groton Generation Station boasts serial number one of General Electric's LMS 100 turbine. Culbertson Generation Station's turbine bears number 17. They're getting them out there now. We've come a long way from Unit 1, that's for sure. Lots have been learned. There are a few differences between Groton and Culbertson, one being a substation. Here, we had to basically build a small substation here with our, our breaker. And then we go four and a half miles of transmission line to tie into WAPA's line. And then next spring, they're going to build a, a small sub there where we tie into their line. Not only is some of the equipment just a little bit different here at Culbertson Generation Station, but the unit is actually handling electricity from another type of unit, the Recovered Energy Generation Station just across the way. We have quite a bit more electrical high voltage equipment here on this site. With a switch gear and um, you know the high voltage gear, the switch yard, and the interface, the electrical interface to ORMAT, is different than, than any of the other sites. Typically that, that equipment is taken care of by the, the local cooperatives that, that the heat recovery sites tie into, whereas here it'll be part of Basin's, Basin's responsibility. Joe Fiedler is the operations and maintenance supervisor at Culbertson Generation Station. He'll be in charge of the day-to-day -day operations of the unit. Before this job, he worked for 19 years at the Leland Old Station, a coal-based unit in North Dakota. He's been on the Culbertson construction site since dirt work began. To do the testing, the commissioning, um, any troubleshooting that we've had to do, it's been, been good to be here when, when that's being done. So as they all leave and I'm in charge of maintaining it, that I know, I know what's going on. Oh, yeah, having Joe here, yeah, it's been wonderful. It's helped me out a lot. And it's been good for him, I know, to, to be here as the plant's built. On this day in December, there are about 65 people on site. At the height of construction, there were more than 100. The plant is scheduled to be complete in the summer of 2010. At Culbertson Generation Station, I'm Tracy Bettenhausen for Basin Electric.